Ghana's most forward-thinking architects have set out to address one of society's most pressing issues by constructing a world today that can adapt to a drastically different tomorrow. From electricity and power to healthcare, there is something for everyone. Ghana has a diverse portfolio of projects that have broken ground. Ghana's building sector has evolved gradually over the last two decades, allowing the country's economic and developmental growth. The government and corporate sector have refocused on infrastructure projects in the last year. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings you to entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship, rather than global PT, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 ongoing mega projects in Ghana this year. That said, let's get right into it. Number 10. Kumasi Paga Central Spine Rail Project The Kumasi Paga Railway Project, also known as the Central Spine Railway Project, involves the construction of approximately 559k km rail to link Kumasi in the central part of Ghana to Paga, which is in the north on the border with Burkina Faso. When completed, the project, which is in accordance with the railway master plan that was completed in 2013, would boost rail and logistics infrastructure in Ghana as part of an integrated transport network, according to the company. The project will also contribute to the improvement of customer service and the reduction of transportation costs, particularly in the area of commerce to and from the hinterland and northern parts of Ghana, as well as the Sahelian nations. Also planned to benefit the project is the facilitation of passenger and freight transit from the southern to northern regions of Ghana and beyond to Burkina Faso and the Sahelian area. Number 9. The Signature Luxury Apartments Project Located in the newly constructed suburb of Shiashi in East Legon, next to the Tete Kwashi Interchange and directly across the street from the Accra Mall, the Signature is a premium residential project currently in the planning stages. The project entails the building of studios, one, two and three bedroom apartments as well as four bedroom penthouse with a private pool. There are seven different types and sizes of studio apartments, 15 different types and sizes of one bedroom apartments, seven different types and sizes of two bedroom apartments and two different types and sizes of three bedroom apartments. The apartments have open plan living areas fully fitted kitchens, exquisite bathrooms, private distinct gardens on each of the 13 floors overlooking Africa's capital of cool. The project has amenities such as fitness center and steam room. Number 8. Apollonia City Development Project Gateway Real Estate Africa, GRIA a private real estate development firm specializing in turnkey construction in Africa has announced the construction of its first commercial office building in Ghana in Apollonia Metropolis, Greater Accra's inclusive mixed-use new city 20 kilometers outside the capital. Apollonia City Headquarters and Sales Office will be housed in the Grid A commercial building which will include both corporate office and retail space. The first phase of this project will cost 4 million US dollars to complete. The four-story building's construction is planned to begin soon, with a completion date of 2022. It will benefit from Apollonia City's current world-class infrastructure, which includes roads, power, water, waste management, and information and communication technology. 
It is designed and delivered by Randevour, Africa's largest city developer. Apollonia City is designed to cater for integrated living, with more than 500 homes completed or under construction. Apollonia City is rapidly becoming a destination of choice for companies and individuals moving away from Accra's heavy traffic for a healthy, congestion-free environment. Number 7. Akran Sawam Railway Project The Akran Sawam Railway Project, which has been developed by the Ghana Railway Development Authority GRDA, in collaboration with the Ministry of Railway Development, will see the conversion of the narrow gauge railway line that runs between the two towns, which are approximately 43 km apart, into a standard gauge railway line. The construction work is being carried out by Keck International Limited, the flagship company of the RPG Group. Number 6. Accra SkyTrain Project Accra SkyTrain is a projected elevated light rail metro network in Accra, in Accra, Greater Accra, Ghana, that will be entirely automated and operated by a single operator. It is suggested that the network consists of five routes, four of which will be radial routes that would begin from a new terminus at the Nkwame Nkrumah interchange and another route that will loop around the entire city. Overall, there are 194 kilometers of track length over all routes. The aeromobile technology will be used by the newly announced system which will have a capacity to transport 10,000 passengers per hour in each direction on each route. In 2018, the Ghanaian government signed a memorandum of understanding with the iSkyTrain Consortium of South Africa. Following the conclusion of a feasibility study, the parties signed a built operate transfer concession agreement in November 2019. The company will develop the system at an estimated cost of $2.6 billion. According to the administration, the project is a 100% private sector owned initiative that is not being sponsored by the government. A lack of progress has been made and the project has been delayed as a result of legal issues and the coronavirus epidemic. In February 2021, the government announced it was intending to proceed but was waiting for reports from the Attorney General before submitting legislation to the Parliament. Number 5. Ghana International Trade Fair Center Redevelopment Project The present 140-acre Ghana International Trade Fair Center site will be transformed into a new modern mixed-use smart green and sustainable commercial estate through the implementation of this project. The project is scheduled to be completed in phases, with the first phase focusing on the development of the convention center and exhibition halls for the World Economic Forum in Africa. Phase 2 will contain facilities such as luxury hotels, high-end malls, and other residential and commercial development. This new destination will also house a technological hub that will serve as commercial, research, and high-end manufacturing center to support the government's industrialization drive into the 21st century. Number 4. Marine Drive Accra Project The Marine Drive Accra Project is a 241-acre waterfront redevelopment plan for Accra that stretches from Independence Square to the coastline, culminating in a coastal overlook with broad dramatic views of the Gulf of Guinea into a new public infrastructure that includes commercial, exhibition centers, offices, a beach soccer pitch, recreational and retail facilities. Ajaye Associates, an award-winning architectural and design firm with studios in Accra, London and New York, is led by Sir David Ajaye, a Ghanaian-British architect known for designing many notable buildings around the world. The project's major goal is to use tourism as a transformational economic entity for the benefits of West African countries and people.
Number 3. Petronia City Project Petronia City is the vision of CEO and founder of Wonderworld Estate, Nana Kwame Bidiako. Designed around the ideology of work, live, learn and play, Petronia City is a self-sustaining master plant integrated city. It will attract, retain and support businesses, human capital needs and elevate Ghana's western region into a world-class business location, tourist destination and home. The project is divided into four phases. Phase 1 consists of a 70-acre prototype of the entire development, beginning with the construction of world-class basic infrastructures, commercial and residential facilities such as a four-star hotel, four office blocks, a recreational center, 25 three- and four-bedroom executive villas, just to name a few. Phase 2 is subdivided into three phases and it consists of constructing a golf city, an industrialization zone and the development of West Africa's first energy city. Phases 3 and 4 will expand on the city's residential, commercial and recreational facilities, civic institutions and landscaping. Number 2. Project for Construction of National Cathedral of Ghana in Accra The Ghana National Cathedral project, which will be built on a 14-acre landscape plot adjacent to Osu Cemetery in Accra, will see the construction of an interdenominational Christian cathedral that will include a number of chapels, a baptistry, a music school, a choir rehearsal space, a grand central hall, and a two-level auditorium with a capacity of 5,000 people. There will also be an art gallery, a store, multi-use facilities, and the first Bible museum and documentation center in Africa within the new National Cathedral of Ghana. It will also be linked to the capital city's most prominent landmarks such as the Independence Square, Oslo Cemetery, State House and the Africa Unity Circle via a new ceremonial route and landscape. Number 1. Kumasi International Airport Project in 2013, the government of Ghana embarked a phased development of the Kumasi Airport to provide the requisite infrastructure of safe domestic and international operations, so as to ensure safety and comfort for passengers whilst ensuring Ghana had a fully functioning international airport, along with Kotoka International Airport. Phase 1 of the project was completed in 2014 and it involves the rehabilitation of the defective runway, installation of airfield lights and aeronautical ground lights on the runway to facilitate night operations. Phase 2 of the project began in 2016 and involves the construction of two-story ultra-modern terminal of 7,000 square meters of space based with the capacity to handle 1.5 million passengers per annum, parking areas and a ring road around the airport. The terminals also have spaces like VIP lounges, restaurants, commercial areas, three boarding gates, a central screening system for passengers, a standard baggage handling system, and the offices for the airline companies. While phase three of the project involves the extension of the terminal building, a fire station, fire access routes, and an air control tower, as well as the extension of the car park access roads, apron, the runway strip, and an air side service road. We've come to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with your friends and family. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information.